Hey everyone, this is Liver, going back to my playthrough of Veteran Odyssey Untold. Actually, it's the post-game now, so sorry about that. Uh, we're going to be doing the post-game on Classic Mode. So, I went ahead and off-screen, I redid the entire game on Classic Mode. Yeah! Case in point, this was the original team I used in Neo 1 minus the Medic. Uh, yeah. So, in case you haven't seen my Neo 1 LP in... Or you're new to this and just want to see the post game of this game, which is fine. Uh, the team is LDPTH, and it's not. The, the team is weird because it actually prefers. This is a basically a buff debuff team. It's it's a buff manager team. If you, if I, that's the only way I know how to how to describe it. It's the buff management team. All right, so we'll do that first. So organize floor rest. So floor is gonna probably be resting between two states, a boss fight state and a not boss fight state, because different skills are better at different times. So, real quick, let's grab this, because we're not going too, fi uh, too far up the song tree. I'm going to get it, this to one, and grab that. We want at least this max, so then I have to decide where I want to go from here. And I'm pretty sure I want to max out Song Mastery because it's gonna... It increases the turn speed, which is vitally necessary. But it might be the slower fights where I want to use Shelter, or the faster fights where I want to use Warrior. The difference between using Warrior and the, and the Bloody Offense or War Cry is that Warrior Song is fast. That's literally the only benefit to Warrior, is that it's a fast move. So you can use Warrior Song because it's fast, not for any other reason. Uh, Max Holy Gifts, because we're still leveling up and stuff. Okay. Holy Gift Max out. Get Restful Tune. I think 5 should be good enough. I'm gonna get this to 10. During bosses, yeah, I'm probably just gonna have to end up resting floor every time I want to fight a boss, but that's fine, really. The bosses should I should either be fighting all the bosses at the same time, or I should be trying to fight the bosses as they come. And even if it's as they come, the leveling up strategy probably isn't going to be hurt too much. I don't know when the dragon subquest stuff starts, though. We'll find out as we go, I assume. Okay, does this look good? Um. Okay, so let's get started. Start by going in here, seeing if there's any new things here. Nope. And I still need to do these. Uh, gross. We'll worry about... Screw it, we'll just worry about quests later. Uh, let's go investigate new places. That ain't suicidal at all with a level 50 team. This team might just be too low. I'm still an expert. And of course I'm gonna try to beat the 6 stratum on expert, but... Honestly, guys, I would not be surprised if I dropped the difficulty. Um... You know what would help? If I got an awareness or more. Ugh, if I get an... Okay, so I have a person from Classic... Because it's Classic Mode, I'm allowed to create more people. I have a person named Sneak in the back lines, and her job is basically to assist the farm team to getting to places without running into fights. And she has awareness level 10. And I have the feeling I should have that on a grimoire somewhere on somebody. I should just have that on a Grimoire somewhere, on somebody. Because I hear that Lion Sides in this game are pretty much the worst ever. Uh, and having awareness level 10 would obviously stop that. However, because I am bringing Liana, I do have a pseudo-awareness through Staggering Word. I'm not sure how much that is worth. It could be worth. So, it's 50-50 for me right now. I have a pseudo-way of doing it, but I don't know how reliable the stun is. So, we're just gonna work with that. Etrian died in this room. You didn't even know anything else. Oh, the pole's not here. Oh, the story is, in fact, exactly where I thought it was the first time during story mode. And we've entered the Claret Hollows. Alright, Neil won. The Claret Hollows B26 floor was a teleport... It's not quite a teleport maze. Yeah, it was kind of a teleport maze. It wasn't an obnoxious one, though. Let's see how they changed it in this game. 
And some stairs. Okay, and you know one, there were doors to separate the rooms, and you started facing south instead of north, but otherwise I'm not seeing too much difference right now. Here's the pole, we'll go ahead and save here. You can't draw while the game's saving. Alright, so let's do some ex some little bit of scouting here. We got a crack in the wall. I'm Earlier I complained that they introduced shortcuts in here. Really, that's not a bad thing because of how hard they are to see. I'm still going to probably just have to be facing the walls just to notice them, and I'm probably going to miss them a lot otherwise. That's a door. Oh, they do have the nasty looking doors. Oh, maybe I learned that already. Okay, whatever. It's fine. In we go. Uh, we have a little divot, and we have a fork. So, you one, we had long passageways that led to teleporters. Let's see what they did differently in this one. Oh, look, still teleporters. Teehee. Okay, let's run into our first fight, see what that's like. Hellfly. Hellfly said ice in the old one. Alright. We're gonna try... I don't think one... Probably we'll try one turn kill. Stunning smash is a fast attack. Do I want to stun... Try to go for that guy or try to go for that guy? Um... I believe these were weak to Volt in the old one, but I didn't really use elements. I know the... Oh well, it doesn't matter. Let's try this. Okay. Doesn't seem too bad. Alright, well, turns out if I do it this way, Leanna's going to shred through TP like it's no man's business. But, you know, just endlessly talking to Amritas and coming in here probably isn't a big deal. So th I don't have Amritas on me. Uh, I guess it just means it won't be a Wait a second, I don't have a Radney Threads either. Okay, I might want to consider just turning my butt around right now. Items, I'm reading a Radney Thread, bring one of those. Hey, I'm back from my little expedition. So, I now have a bunch of Amritas in, uh, available for me in storage. And for pre-expedition go out, we're going to go in with about 5 to 7 Amritas, 5 Nectars, 3 Therica Bees, and a few of miscellaneous stuff. Oh, and the Radney Thread that you absolutely must have all the time. So, with that, I think we're ready. I equipped a Sonic Dagger to Liana. Her debuffs should go faster now. If that still doesn't end up being enough, I'm probably going to get into getting her a nice pair of shoes. But, we'll see how it goes first, and then we'll get her shoes. Right? Right. The idea is we want sapping our frailty to go fast, because if they do, that means that other people can take advantage of the fact that the frailty or the sapping is up, and I don't take as much damage. And sapping does a very good job at stopping damage. Velvet and sapping is the best. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and... I uh, don't... Yeah, I suspect we're gonna be walking around a lot anyway. We're probably going to run into fights regardless of if we want to or not. So I'm just gonna proc that up. Alright, I didn't explore either of these yet. And there's no dedicated warp symbol in this game, because reasons. So... Let's see. This is exactly like Atronasi 1. I'm assuming they're going to send me here multiple times, not just this once. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link this up with numbers. So this is going to be 1. And every time I use the one, one of these 1 numbers, it, it's going to lead here. That's the idea. As long as, as long as the teleportation is kind of hubby and central like that, it's very easy to keep track of. But the moment they do something weird, well, that, that system doesn't work anymore. But for now, the system will work just fine, and it'll save on the memos and the stuff. One way. Just like, okay, just like the original. It's fine. And this leads us to a place we could access immediately, so we're fine. 
We've got another door here. So far, it looks like it wants to be symmetrical. It could po very well possibly be symmetrical. But for now, let's just check out the other teleporter down here. That leads me here again. So we also use one for that. Alright, that leaves just this door here. And at least we don't have to test eight different L teleporters, this time we only have to test two. Okay. Let's see what here. We got another teleporter, this is a big surprise. Where does it lead? The same place. Alright, well I've pretty much extinguished all the dead ends. So the game could only give me the correct direction now, right? Also, so far this isn't so bad. Not having to explore ten gajillion of these is probably what's saving my sanity right now. Looks like we're about to run into a fight. This is probably just going to lead somewhere new. It did. Say probably because it could have hidden shortcuts or something and throw me off. But they didn't. They're nice enough. Alright, we got T-section. After T-section. After T-section. After T-section. Gas tree. I forgot the rest at the end, but that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to do the gotta go fast strats. A front guard will be sufficient enough. We'll just go for fast strats. Good to see if frailty is fast enough or not. It's not, but we didn't need it, so it's a good thing that warrior is fast enough. Alright, as long- well, it's not going to be until they throw in more than a few enemies at the same time that the fights are going to be really interesting. Oh. Huh. Okay, that's a pretty nice healing spot this early. That's a 150.75. Nice. I didn't expect them to put helpful events down here, I'll be perfectly honest. I thought they were too- uh, Etronasi was too cruel to make that so. Then again, the Hall of Darkness also had some good events in it. Alright, this takes me right back here. So we already have this labeled as a teleportation destination, we just label that as a 2. Sweet. We have so many options, it hurts my head. That looks like an item point. Well, let's go see what that's all about. This is a take point. I can probably get the gather team down here pretty easy. I'll have to see what that gives me later. Is there any shortcuts on this side? Not that I see. Alright, what's, what's down here? Another teleporter! Oh man, we're gonna go through this motion a lot, aren't we? This leads... ...somewhere new. Okay. Um... That looks like an exit. No, that's just a teleporter. You can kinda see the teleporters in advance. We have two teleporters right next to each other. You know what? I'm right here. I may as well trigger it, right? Now let's go. S let's see. Bef if I haven't stepped on a teleporter yet, I'll just mark it with question marks. That way, I know there's a teleporter there that I haven't been on. Uh, da -da -da -da. Using Etronasi's mapping mechanics. Who would have thought? Uh, interesting. So, uh, this probably connects back here. Got another warp here. Got another warp here. Alright, so I think I've run out of options and I gotta pick a warp now. 
Let's try this one. We'll label this one after we land on it, right? So. Okay, I guess we'll call that a four. And we ran into a fight. I'm not worried about that. They put that in the back row. Alright, cheeky. I won't I won't be able to kill it this time. I still suspect it uses either fire or ice from EO1. Stunning Smash, Viper. So we learned last time that this is going to work. Let's try it. Oh, that's dumb. That was right. I got one thing, that's nice. And... Okay then. This is a pretty bad spot to be in. Well, that was disgusting. Okay, so now I have to deal with Shara. Does she have shoes on? She doesn't have shoes on. Uh, does this give her agility? No, it doesn't. Hmm. Don't know what to think, but it's fine. Leandage couldn't survive. She's the only one without enough HP to survive things. Which is a scary, scary, scary thought. Okay, so Leanna's the only one who doesn't have enough HP to survive the poison. I'm gonna need to find some form of HP up to give to her. What, how much HP do you have? 318? Not even Eric would survive it. So that's tough. I need to... I can't... Ugh. Okay, it's just, I guess it's just a little disgusting is what it is. We'll use Frightful Yarl again and continue our walk fest. Nothing of significance so far. Expect a lot of marathon episodes when exploring this stratum. Especially since I'm unfamiliar with it. You know what? Yeah, I haven't marked that. Okay. So we got two teleporters. Okay. We got another one here. I'm gonna go ahead and walk on this one. This one takes me back here, and that's a three. So this becomes a three, because we already know where three goes. I must have forgotten that, uh... This is a four. Okay. Let's try a new teleporter. Let's try this one. That's a five. Something tells me I just got out of this nasty loop I was just in. Not quite. I can't quite tell where I am. Looks like I'm in the upper left corner of where I was before. Okay. Got another teleporter here. I'm surprised they turned this into a more sophisticated maze than before. So we can we can access this one again. We already know where that one goes. We have no need to test test it. Unless I wanted to go to the other side. There's a teleport right there, which is obnoxious. And then we have the stairs down. Okay. So we have a few interesting choices we can make. We're going to start with this one. That leads me to what we'll call six... So far, not that bad. Okay, 
Okay, no new teleporters in sight. This is a new teleporter. So we don't know where this one goes. We've seen this these before. Oh, I thought there was a... No, I didn't. Alright, cool. But, unlike the other side, there's no exit over here. Cool. So this is the only teleporter accessible from that side, and it doesn't actually take you anywhere. Great. where this one goes. That takes you back to two. That's a little gross. And, okay, so we've just kind of been kind of prank prancing about this lower part of the level. I'm not sure what to think, guys. This is getting a little freaky. If you know what I mean. Where does this go? Thanks, game. Uh, that tortoise is blocking that item point. So that item point's of no value whatsoever. I'm gonna be running into another easy fight here. Okay, we got a freebie, so... In freebies, I can probably just go ahead and use Power Crush instead to slow myself down so that we're fast enough. Shield Smites should also be used. Let's try that. Yeah, that works out. Okay. Let's try up here. This leads right back down here, and this was two. Alright, what about over here? Frightful y'all just wore off. That leads to four. Okay, so I can go to the lower left corner by going left one prong, to the lower right corner by going right two prongs. There's, and then there's nothing on the edges. Or I can go backwards by going down the center. Alright, we're trying to reach new places, so we're going to try out different warps. So this leads... to five. Right, so that means the only untested warp on this side is this one, which leads to three. So we've tried all the warps over here. That means the only working warp has to be over here somewhere. There are two untested warps over here. This leads to the other side. This is... Four. So that gets replaced with a four. Okay, so I need to go to six. Six is over there, so we need to get to five first. So the easiest way I see is to go five here, then we go to six down here, then we're here, then we can reach this one. We're going to call this one 7 preemptively, because I assume it's not going to take me anywhere I've been before. And I was right. Alright, now in EO1, we have a column, sort of, here, so... Let's see here. Okay, we got a branch. We're probably going to run into more advanced enemies here. Let's see. Oh man, will we see. Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted. Looks like we're going this way. Um. Put the gas tree in the back? That's gross. Sapping doesn't stop poison damage, nor does shelter. Leanna's probably just bones. 
It really depends. Nah. I could try that. Frailty's probably better called for. Eric's dead to the poison. That's not poison. Alright, well, if it uses poison now, it's screwed itself, so... We just go all out and try to kill it. Okay, I'm gonna chalk that up to the gas tree being nice to me. Got an imperfect grimoire. I don't think that we behind me is fast, so I should be safe. Probably should have leveled up this tune a little bit more, but it's not that big of a deal. No, therefore we can't go fast. So I'm not actually under pressure. Because the y'all seems to be a really good, good move. Uh, is there a shortcut here? Nope, not a shortcut here. Great. That's just gravy. I see a shortcut right there. So is this when I approach from this side? No, it's one way. Ah, uh, gross. Alright, so before I move forward, how far can I go? Uh, I can't tell if it turns or not, but I assume it does. So I assume that. Let's see what's down here. A teleport. God bless you, Etronasi. I think this would be a good stopping point for the episode as well. Alright, well. Takes me back to seven. Well, I just managed to get on the other side of where this FE was originally, so there's that. Now I can explore this way. Frightful y'all's about to go off. We're not nearby any FOEs. So I'll run into a fight before activating y'all again. Looks like we've got another shortcut here. One way? Yes. And we have another shortcut here. Hmm. Let's try this one. I'm trying to be on the lookout. I'll call that eight. Okay. I assume this leads backwards and allows me to go backwards and leave the place. I, of course, don't know unless I step on it. So I don't know where this one goes. Let's press forward. One way? Damn. Edronasi, you crazy. Okay, this level seems to really like symmetry, though. It's gotta... can't be that complicated. But I haven't found a shortcut to make getting through here easier. Let's go this way. No one's dead, no one's dead. Okay. Still nothing. Blind side, that's not good. Okay then. I don't have flea on this. And I forgot to re equip Flora with a grimoire. So I think we're just dead. Sweet. Now there's no neck dolls, 
So, I'm um, pretty sure we're boned. I'm still pretty sure we're boned. Yep. Dead. Um. Yeah! Etrian Odyssey! Yeah! It's a good game, guys. I love it. But we didn't find any shortcuts, so I'm not opposed to this. Yeah, it's a good stopping point as well. Yep. So, guys, I would expect from this point on that every time we end an episode, just expect it to be a game over a screen. That's probably... It's probably because it's the best place to stop off. So what I'm going to do off screen is I'm going to level up this classic team up to 65. And... Um... Then we'll try again. Yeah. Etrian Odyssey. It's a good game. You guys should play it sometime.